our actual play has been quite consistent this year. We haven't had too many really below par performances. Possibly haven't had the results we've deserved from our performances. And I think, I know everyone will say the same, but I think we should be a few points further on than what we are. Uh, but we're not, so we just have to get on with it. A lot of it now, towards the end, will come down to luck. Now, you know, you can bemoan your luck or you can try and improve your chances of being lucky, if that makes sense. And the way to do that is, one, was hard work, but two, it's to occupy the opposition's territory. Football's an invasion game by the nature of the game. And the more you invade their territory and the more you're in and around their box, well, then any decisions that can go for you can win your games. And if they don't go for you, they're not going to lose you. And that's that's what you've got to, we've got to try and do for the, the remaining games. You said after Saturday that it wasn't your best performance, but it was a good result. At this stage of the season, seven games left, would you take seven more of them? Well, without a doubt. I thought we played quite well second half, but first half we were poor, and we can't have too many of them halves. And we've got a tendency to, to have contrast in halves in, in a lot of games, and we played really well and then flat for the second half. It was maybe a little bit of role reversal on Saturday, but the pleasing thing was that we finished the game strongly. The lads look fit. They looked sharp towards the end and they were making chances they weren't hanging on. In the past, that one goal would have set the seed out in a lot of people's minds, but it didn't. You know, we kept on going and the only thing it was going to be another goal it was going to be us who scored it. How much do you have to emphasise to the players the, the performance and, and how it needs to be a bit better? Is there a danger that they think, well, we're not playing that well and we've won the game, so we'll move on? I don't on? think we have to emphasise to them. I think they know. You know, if you ask every single player who played on Saturday, they'll say they weren't happy. So... You know, that's half the battle if they, if they can realise it before you have to go banging the drum or getting the big stick out. Look at the league table and, and those games in hand that everybody's got are rapidly disappearing. Is it perhaps the end of this week, the end of next week, that we see the, the genuine league table? I think possibly the end of this week, I uh, should say. We'll go into a strange position of having played more than everybody after Friday, so... Um, but you know we've just got to give it our best shot. Uh, you know, as I say, uh, each game's going to bring its own problems. Each game's going to bring increased pressure, and each game's going to bring increased expectations. So that's how we deal with that. And I suppose for the first time this season, really, an individual game that you approach one game at a time will have a direct impact on where you are in that table. Yeah, in the past we've always passed up opportunities to go into the playoff positions. So hopefully that won't be the case on Tuesday. Would it be the perfect psychological boost to, to be in there with six games to go rather than trying to get in there with six games to go? I think so, because games can quickly run out on you. I think it's going to take the most points to get into the playoffs as well this season, so we've got to make sure we try and get the, uh, the required amount. I think the average is 72 over the last decade. Do you think you're going to need more than that? I think possibly, yeah. I think it could be 73, 74 required. 